Hi, I'm Andrea, here with Studio 35 for our first impressions of The Waylanders, an RPG straight out of A Coruña, Spain, by Gato Salvaje Studios, and expected to land sometime in the remaining of 2020 on Windows. Gato Salvaje is an indie studio, and was created in 2010 with the aim of becoming a benchmark in the national production of video games. In the past eight years, they have created four games, with the fifth being The Waylanders. With Mike Laidlaw of BioWare and Jade the Empire fame on board as narrative and creative consultant, The Waylanders provides players an open quote, engaging narrative featuring impactful character development, unique companion romance options, and a deeply technical combat system, end quote. The Waylanders wears its fantasy party-based RPG inspiration on its sleeve, with hints of classics such as Dragon Age, Neverwinter Nights, and Legend of Zelda with its time traveling. The game is a party-based experience set in the Celtic and medieval period and features innovative combat and deep tactics with the introduction of formations, where players can fuse their characters to create combined and powerful offensives. Featuring a very strong visual style, Wellanders is surprisingly fun, but during our time with it we have to be honest and say it was a bit slow and the voice work could use some polish. The camera also sometimes has a life of its own. With real-time combat, with a tactical pause option, the Waylanders can be played from either the classic top-down isometric view, and unlike most other games of a genre, can also be shifted into the third-person perspective. Featuring a massive 36 character classes, which are based on 6 basic classes and 30 more advanced ones, allows every playstyle you can think of to be accommodated. However, its most innovative offering is the introduction of formations, whereby characters will combine into offensive formations, allowing for deep combat tactics and enabling players to play the game to their own strengths and preferences. So, after watching this, will you be playing the Waylanders when it comes out? And as usual, if you like what you see, don't forget to like this video as it makes our content more visible. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions and share this video across all your favorite social media platforms. This was Andrea from Studio 35, wishing you all happy gaming. Sun washes them away. But of course, my lord. Shall we? And now, thanks to my hard work, I'm the youngest leader of the Druids College ever. Yes, Amigan, we know you ship rainbows. Stop bragging to the new kid. Well, not all of us have had thousands of years to perfect our craft. You're right. Some of us learned to shut up before we turned 30. Be nice, my dear. The sun hasn't even risen yet. Mmm, yeah, because nighttime is when no one ever does or says anything naughty. You're insufferable. I love you too. Sustenance has arrived! Oh, thank goodness. I am positively famished. You ate more than anyone else at dinner last night. Yeah, I worked it all off. Okay, egg time, yum! We have to wake mm. up the prince eventually, yeah. but he's, he's not going to be happy about it. Nope. Absolutely not. Hmm? Mm, 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 uh, uh, don't look at me. Yes, well, he's an idiot. I mean it, he's a total dipshit. He's a party kid. He doesn't act like a prince. And then I got stuck babysitting the little fucker. <sighs> he's not my favorite.
I'm the best hand-to-hand -hand combatant in the world. I've been training since I was a small child. No one can defeat me. You're safe as long as I'm nearby. You would be too if you'd spent 27 years chiseling your body to absolute perfection. I've earned this. I'll flaunt them as I wish. I'm a middle-aged widower, and she's a beautiful woman with more knowledge than I could acquire in 20 lifetimes. Oh, we've met up dozens of times over the past few years, but never really talked about it. I'm just glad to get to spend time with her. Not just that. I check so many necessary boxes. I'm a powerful sorceress. I know more about the Tuatha than the entire Druid College combined. I'm an important representative of the Morian culture. And I'm charming as fuck. Your Highness, Prince Lugade. If he ruined my favorite cloak, I'm gonna feed him to Ah, a go easy on him, Amagin. Maybe he'll be better at holding the throne than holding his liquor. At his age, I was already an established professor. We already know you're a freak, no need to brag. Yeah, bragging is my thing. Everyone, we're here. Our scouting boats have finished surveying the beach. We should be safe to land. But it's strange. There were no people to be seen. They're not exactly people, Teresa. They're gods. I know. Our gods. But do they not walk on the ground? Do they not bend twigs when walking past trees? What do you mean? There's nothing. Nothing at all. I'm done with this. You fucking imbecile! Father, why are we giving them presents? You're the king. They should be giving tribute to you. We are emissaries of peace to a people more powerful than any of us can understand or even imagine. This is a privilege. Well, I'm sick of privilege. <sighs> so are we. Excuse me? How's that hangover, your highness? I can't believe you made me share a cabin with this. This. Speak, child. What am I? Enough! I have done everything in my power, both as your king and as your father, to prepare you to carry the crown. You're an adult now, and your mother and I, we don't know what else we can do. When we return home to Galicia, I'm calling together the council. We need to decide if you're ever going to be suited for the throne. But father... From now on, you will address me as your majesty. Stop gawking and get back to work. <laughs> I knew it was going to be the best day of my life, but I didn't realize just how best. Meeting our gods is something I've wanted my entire life. True. I knew I'd achieve it, though. I've been advocating we do this for longer than I care to admit. The prince, however, it was only a matter of time before the king snapped like the rest of us. I'm just worried that now it's too late for Lugade to recover. Tracking won't work. The Tuatha don't move as we do. 
Their forms are ethereal and ever-changing. One moment a bird, another a leaf. To Arthur are entwined with nature in ways we cannot fathom. They're probably announcing their presence already, waiting for one of us to catch on to something subtle many would ignore. You know, I've seen so many regimes rise and fall that it's difficult to invest. If is one of the best men I've ever seen. His intentions approach a level of purity rarely seen, though this has caused him intense. When I'm hunting down prey, I... Once, when I was stalking a lot. But I... Oh, it'd be... I'm humiliated. How dare he? I am his son. Why can't he accept that I'm trying my best? I'm still... It's never mattered. I've always had to be the prince. Oh, my heart aches. I can't imagine, but now I may have to. My eldest, Eramon, is next in line to the throne after Lugé. And my, my sons are wonderful young men. So, Lugate has. I need some time alone to think. Center myself before I meet my gods. I must focus on what lies just ahead. Instead of dreading conversations necessary when we return home, my wife is going to hate this. I didn't enjoy a single moment of that, no. It's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. But I had to do it. Thank you. I'm not sure I did. My wife has got it, and I we were never able to have more children. Lugade is so precious to us. We've shown him as much. I can't be a good father. Stay with me, my king. I need more, Amagin. We can do better than this. How dare you tell me what to do after embarrassing me in front of the Tuatha? Oh, the Tuatha that just attacked us. Those Tuatha, huh? Yeah, I'm a wretched bitch for dimming their esteemed opinion off you. Can't believe myself. <laughs> Help!
Huh! <laughs> 